everybody, it's Renee here coming to you today to bring you a video that you're hopefully going to love. I uh, just recently finished the Vicki Booten Color Study album and I really like how this came about. Um, she has a ton, a ton of product in this line. So like most of the albums I make using her lines, it is huge. So hopefully you can fit photos in these because it's quite packed. So I thought I'd just show you how I started with this. With this one, I used the dark blue uh, Simple Stories Snap album. And I put all the embellishments on and whatnot. This is the front. Um, I'll just flip through and explain if I need to. I used some washi on here. This one, I didn't put anything on the inside of the dividers, so I just put the paper. This, you could put something inside it. So there's like a little pocket. These flip, or sorry, these ones don't flip. These pull out. Thinking of a different one down the road. You can put a picture on here. This flips. This I just left because you can put two four by six pictures in there, so I'm gonna leave that for that. These ones flip. So you could put journaling under here or you could put a picture, it's totally up to you. And you could print some easy pictures if you have your Epson uh, Photomate or your selfie, easy to put those in there. These are all just little pulls and tags, so you can pull those out. This one is another pull out, so there's that. Love all the color in here. This is awesome because you can put different um, different sentiments on here. You could journal on here. You could put pictures on here. And I love the graph paper. So same thing I should show you. Like you can put whatever on there as well. This one, same thing, put a picture on. This one, I wanted to try and use the same papers, but I thought it was a little busy. So I didn't want them having, having them touch. So I used the same papers, but I reversed it. So those are like that. And this flips and then this is just a picture you can put that there this one you can pop it up and this is in a photo pocket or a page pocket so you can take that out put a picture in or whatever you might choose same thing put a picture on there this is a waterfall so you can put whatever you want in there just leave it as is this is a flip, you can put two pictures on there, again, or whatever you want. I love this blank. I thought you could just leave it like that because it is busy already. You put something on it, I will probably leave mine blank. And that, and this, this is a flip. And another flip. Another flip. And I should tell you too, you'll notice this is not the Vicki Booten color study. This is from Amy Tangerine, her Bold and Brave, or is a Brave and Bold line. So I did um, add some of the Amy Tangerine line in here as well. So it's a little bit of Amy Tangerine, not a ton, and Vicki Booten. So there, same thing. These ones are the same, they flip. This one, it flips that way and flips that way. This one, same thing, document, put pictures, whatever you choose. This is just like that. You can put whatever down here if you want to, or just leave it. These are three separate little pullouts that I made look at this little pocket for. This is just a picture, same thing. Love all these, these little office embellishments. Picture, this one is a flip. This one, just a picture. Three, and so I put it like this so you could have three, it's almost like a double page layout, three different pictures, or you could have it separate, whichever one you choose. This is just a standalone. This I thought is perfect for those pictures you might get from a photo booth, or you could just make a strip on your photo mate. Um, you could put whatever in there, it's kind of neat. Or you could even put like a word sentiment, whatever you choose. These are three separate pullouts. Again, another two four by six pictures you could pop in there. This is a flip. 
more tags to pull out. I love this paper, it's probably my favorite one. And then the beautiful purple on the other side. You can put this on here, this is an Amy Tangerine, part of her line. Two pictures. This is just a flip. Again, three more pullouts. This is a flip. Another flip. Two more four by six photos. This is a pullout. And these you could put pictures in, so I just left them. So you can put your picture in on top of those and do some journaling. This one you pull out, you can put two little pictures on there. Same thing with here, pictures or whatever you want. You can put sentiment on here, I just left it for now. Another waterfall. So those are all waterfalls. This one, this paper is part of Amy Tangerine and this is part of the Snap Album, in case you're wondering. Love this paper too, this is just so beautiful, love the colors. That, and these ones, same thing, put pictures in, whatever you choose to do, you could leave it, you can put journaling, whatever you want. So that is my Vicki Booten color study plus Amy Tangerine Brave and Bold or Bold and Brave, I always get it backwards, um, album. I hope you enjoyed that. I would love to hear what you think of the colors. A lot of people like muted colors or browns, um, vintage colors, they're not into the bold, um, the colorful. I would love to know what you think because it will tell me also what kind of videos you want to see. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, check out my links in the description down below so you can check out all my other social media, whether it's my Instagram, my blog, or even my Etsy account where I do sell some of my albums that are completed. So you can check that out if you don't want to make them yourselves or give them away as a gift. So check that out. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you get my videos as soon as they come out. And uh, don't forget to hit that like if you liked my videos. I am going to show you also this video will be coming up very soon. It is the Simple Stories Summer Album. So make sure you subscribe and you'll see this as soon as it comes out. Shouldn't be too long, but this album will be coming up too and it's pretty chock full of stuff as well. So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching crafters and have a great day.